Now in the key of G major, the two, the three, and the six chords are all minor seventh. And this is the pattern we can use now for this, this two string arpeggio pattern. That's the flat third or minor third. And that's that five again. So if you just learn that pattern and then put that up the octave, we're essentially learning one pattern and moving it once. I'm using fingers one, three, one, four, like this. That involves a little bit of a shift and a stretch. But you can use your second if you feel that's easier. It's even more of a stretch, but you can use that if you want. That's a very good workout. It's a very good workout for the muscles in the hands and to get the stretch going. 